sports coverage you can count on with Lyndon Blake. Auburn lost twice to Kentucky in the regular season before their big win over the Wildcats in the Elite Eight. Tonight's 75 to 66 win marks the Tigers' first back to back victories over Big Blue in 30 years. Now, the game didn't go smoothly. A combined 49 fouls committed, but Auburn's physicality got them their first marquee win of the season. It was a, a great day at Auburn Arena. Bruce Pearl takes down Big Blue. Now the teams are tied for second in the SEC rankings. Kentucky head coach John Calipari short and sweet after the 75 66 loss, but tips his hat to Auburn. Give Auburn credit. Good win. Thanks, folks. Pearl gave a lot of credit to Austin Wiley tonight. The senior had 10 rebounds, seven on the offensive end. Austin Wiley had a huge impact on the game. His physical presence. Sticking with offense, Samir Dowdy had a team high 23 points. You don't have to tell him every game matters this time of year. We're trying to have a good seed going into the, uh, into the March Madness. Dowdy says the sold out crowd helped fuel the team, even though some students have been up since 3 a.m. for college game day. How great of a crowd that we have for them to be up there early in the morning when, when we were sleeping. Pearl says this win turned a good Auburn team into a very good team. Coach wants the team to build on it, and Wiley wants Auburn fans to get used to winning. It shouldn't be a surprising win every time we uh, beat good teams like Kentucky. Uh, I'm glad we didn't storm the court. Um, Auburn's just got a lot of money this year. When you when you win the Iron Bowl, we run it on the field now. We're gonna, we're gonna take that. We're gonna take that hit. Now, Bruce loves to brag about how Auburn is an everything school, so no surprise he brought up a little Iron Bowl memory in the post game press conference. But back to the physicality of the game. Calipari said offensive rebounds were the difference in the game, and his players just didn't get off their feet enough. So now Auburn faces Arkansas on the road, who just beat Alabama tonight in Tuscaloosa. Jaden Shackleford led the tide with 28 points and the 82 to 78 loss to the Razorbacks. Hazel Green's Kyra Lewis Jr. had 12 points, and Huntsville native John Petty had eight. Tough news for Tide fans. Herbert Jones, one of Bama's top scorers, is out indefinitely with a wrist injury. The swingman had successful surgery this week after injuring his wrist in the first half of the LSU game. The next time Auburn will be playing here in Auburn Arena will be next Saturday when they host LSU. Then Bama comes to town February 12th to try to get the sweep. Reporting in Auburn, Lyndon Blake, Way 31 Sports.